Hello, my name's Rebecca and welcome to my rather messy makerspace. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be making some quick craft pride puppets. These can all be made with things around your house and you don't need any special tools or equipment. The first thing we're going to make are dancing finger puppets. To make your puppets, you'll need some cardboard from a mailing envelope or cereal box would do, and then a selection of paper, printer paper, tissue paper, or any recycled paper you can find around the house. You'll need some glue, print stick works for most things, but equally PVA will work. If you have an adult around, then you who is great for sticking down bits of material. You'll then need some scissors and a craft knife if you're working with an adult. You'll need something for poking a hole through the cardboard, either a screwdriver or a knitting needle. For decorating, you'll need a selection of pens, pencils, paint, anything you have lying around the house will do. And finally, some household items such as string, tin foil, and tissue that you can use to create costumes for your puppet. The first thing you need to do is draw your figure on the card. Start with a nice round head and then draw your body. Remember, in drag, we use quite exaggerated forms. So, a nice hourglass figure for a drag queen. Then add on your arms. You can either do them down by the side or out in a shape, ready for dancing. If you're creating a drag king, start in the same way. However, this time you'll want to draw broad shoulders and a triangular shaped body to create that hyper-masculine look. Make sure though that you make the hip area wide enough on your drag queen so that you'll be able to add finger holes afterwards. The final thing to do is think about hairstyle. If you think your puppet's going to have large hair, it's best to add on the guide now. But don't forget, you can always stick on more cardboard later if you need it. Once you've cut your figure out, it's time to make leg holes. Draw circles where you think your fingers will go. Don't make them too big to begin with. It's better to enlarge them afterwards than try and make them smaller. If you have a craft knife, this is the time to use it. It makes cutting out these holes much easier. But if you don't, use your sharp object like a screwdriver or a knitting needle to poke a hole through the cardboard. This just gives you an opening to put your scissors through and makes cutting out the hole much easier. The holes are large enough when your fingers snugly fit through them. Now you're ready to decorate the puppet. I've chosen Space Eleganza as my theme, so I'm going to start off by covering the body in Martian green tissue paper. You can leave the body as is or use any coloured tissue or other paper that you want. You could even paint your puppet, but make sure to leave plenty of time for it to dry before moving on to the next section. Here, I've only put glue on the area where I want the paper to stick, which makes it much easier for cutting off the excess. Once you've finished removing the excess, Check for any small areas that aren't stuck down properly and rectify this. You can also check for any other areas that need a further trim once you're done. Now you're ready to make the costume. This can be made out of literally anything. This is part of an old crisp packet. Move it around your figure and see where you think you want your outfit to lie. You can scrunch it, cut it, tie it with pieces of string, do whatever you want to create the desired shape. Here I've gone for a, a one-shouldered number. To fix it I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back side. You can now shape the rest of the outfit 
trying to take account of the shape that you created earlier. I'm going to use a piece of string around the middle of the dress to highlight the little waist that we drew in comparison to the hip size. When you're done, stick down any loose areas, but remember not to stick the outfit too close to the finger holes or you won't be able to get your fingers through to dance. To create the hair, just follow the guideline you drew earlier. To create this character's fluffy hair, I'm tearing up little bits of tissue and then sticking them onto the guide. When you're done, you may decide that you wish to add a further piece of decoration. Here, I'm using tin foil like a little tiara just glued on. Additionally, you could add glitter or sequins or any other material that would aid your hairstyle. Now to put your face on. You can use paint, pencils, whatever's going to show up on the background that you've chosen. But remember, in drag, features are big. You want big eyes and big lips. You can choose to do the face in any manner that you want. And once you have, you can add extra decoration. To go with the space theme, I decided to add glitter all over my puppet. But you could add extra paint, pieces of string, foam, pins, any decoration that you've got lying around. So, there you have it. A couple of dancing, lip-syncing drag queen finger puppets. All you've got to do now is pick a track and let them battle. Thanks for joining today and I'll see you next time.